In order to create the different types of perspectives, you have to understand how they work. These step directions will help you to understand the rules of three-point perspectives so you can create the sample boxes in your sketchbook. You can follow the video to start creating your work and complete the remainder of the boxes on your own or by referring back to these steps. In order to do any kind of perspective, you're going to need a couple of things. Your sketchbook, an eraser, a pencil, and a ruler. Hey guys, this time we are going to try to do three-point perspective. So we are going to actually make our horizon line really high on the page for this example. And then hopefully when I'm done, I'll remember to flip this over so I can show you what it would look like in the reverse. Um, when you do this, technically it's like two-point perspective. Where remember when we were talking about our eraser being a one-point perspective, and then when we turned it on its side and we could see the corner and the top of it, technically my horizon line's up here somewhere because I'm seeing the top of my eraser, and I'm doing the corner of that first. Three-point perspective is similar to two-point in that you're going to start with the corner, but this time you're actually rotating that cube or that box in space and so every single one of the lines is going to be diagonal. One other thing that you need to be aware of is if we're thinking of this like a math graph and I get that we have our lower quadrants mostly showing and we've got very little of our upper quadrants but you cannot put that third point in or on the y-axis. I'm going to put it somewhere over here on the lower left hand side and then I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to make it, again, I don't want to make it on the y-axis. So what I want to do is make sure that I'm angling that first line. And I went somewhere kind of in the middle of my ruler between that third point and the horizon line. Then what I'm going to do, just like two point, is I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to go the, from the top and the bottom of that first line that I did and I actually didn't do a very good job here on this bottom point. It should be more like that. And I'm going to take the top and the bottom from the left vanishing point as well. So there I've got two sides of my box. Then I'm going to go back and I'm going to do that the, the two back sides of my box. And what I'm going to do is just kind of decide where I want it to go. And then I'm going to make my line from one side of that first vertical line and then I'm going to take my ruler over and go to the other side of that first vertical line and make another line. So now I've got the corner and the two back sides and now I'm going to take from my right back corner to the left vanishing point that is on the top and I'm going to take my left back corner and go to the right vanishing point on my horizon line. And here I have one box in three-point perspective. So technically, I would like you to try to do 10 of these boxes in three-point. Additionally, what you need to be aware of is you actually have to stay within this vector in order to make these boxes work out. You don't want to cross these vector lines right here, or actually have the boxes on the vector lines. You could actually put a box out on this part and it would actually work out, but when they're on this vector, they really look skewed and you're probably not going to like how they look and get confused.